Happy New Year, everybody. It's going to be raining soon. This is the oak tree I'm going to be planting today. Uh, my tree of hope. So many people these days are depressed, sad, worried about the environment, worried about wars, famines, food, family, worried about so many things. So I think hope, we have to, we all have to hope for the future. We are lucky as a species that we have hope, that we have the ability to hope. So this is my tree of hope. It was planted as, as an acorn by me a number of years ago. I can't remember where the acorn came from. It could have been a farm I was walking on. It could have been from a garden somewhere or I don't know where. It could have been from our own oak tree. I can't remember. But I'm going to show you uh, the group of trees that I selected this one. This one has the leaves on it. The leaves are here to protect uh, next year's buds. I don't know if you can see that. But I'm going to show you where all my other baby trees are so you know that... Um, uh, so you can see what I'm talking about. So over here, this is my area of pots. There's lots of apple trees along that wall. There's lots of hydrangeas. These are all from cuttings. These are all cuttings. These are all grafted. Oh, that's a big oak tree. That one I did buy, it's a red oak tree. But here is my group of baby trees. There's all kinds of baby trees in here that I've planted from cuttings or from acorns. That's a bit of, um, uh, that's a um, passion flower. Uh, there you can see two uh, foxgloves, but there's a whole bunch of baby oak trees in there that were planted in the last couple of years. Over here, there are bigger trees. There's a holly tree that I've planted. Um, these are uh, dog cherries that I have to plant out this year. Here's, and then in here are, there's beech, that's a beech tree. This is a horse chestnut here. Um, that's an oak tree, that's an oak tree. Um, somewhere there's a, that's another oak tree there, there. Another horse chestnut, you can tell the horse chestnuts have sticky, sticky big buds. So those are all trees that are gonna be planted over a period of time. Here's some more baby trees. And uh, here you can see I have another baby holly. So I routinely, I've got to weed the grass out of um, my babies because I don't want the grasses to cover my babies. Anyway, that's something I've got to do later because it's going to rain. Anyway, this is just outside the vine house. Okay, this is where I'm thinking of planting my wonderful tree of hope. This tree exploded in a windstorm. It was a huge, beautiful horse chestnut, magnificent. These two branches on either side are still living. So the debate is whether to plant the oak tree here on the inside where it'll be very protected by the bulk of this uh, horse chestnut and when it rots down suddenly the oak will appear. Now the sun rises over there and in the winter it tracks that way. So do I plant it here where it's kind of hidden? That's our entranceway down there. 
or because it's a tree of hope and we all need to have a visual reference to a tree of hope or to hope for, for that matter. I'm thinking there's this big log here. This, you can see the trunk of the horse chestnut. It's huge, massive hollow. And I'm thinking that maybe I should plant the tree of hope for New Year's Day 2024 on this side because when that rots down and everything, but until it does, people who arrive coming up the driveway are welcomed with the first view of the tree of hope. So I'm thinking that's where I'm going to plant this 2024 tree of hope starting a new tradition because of how tangled and messed up the world is at the moment. We all need hope. All the wars, the famines, the abuse, etc. As you can see, there's larch trees and beech trees all around. So I think I'm going to plant my tree of hope right up here so that as it matures, it will be seen by everybody who comes in up the driveway. One of the first trees, besides those cherry trees and those horse chestnuts. There's another horse chestnut and more beech trees back there. So I think that's where I'm going to plant the tree of hope.
Yay! Yes! The tree of hope. Yes! The tree of hope. Well, there you go. 2024, the oak tree, tree of hope, grown from a seed, sorry, an acorn, which I suppose is a seed, but hope only grows if you give it hope. Healthy soil and water and sun also help, but don't dig it up already. Inca. Don't dig it up already. So, I hereby christen you the Oak Tree of Hope. And it'll be hopefully this year, hope, hope, hopefully this year, it'll grow loads so that when people are arriving and coming up the driveway, from that perspective, it's going to be the first tree they see. It'll take some years to grow big, but my Oak Tree Hope 2024 will get there one day. And these are my New Year's Day assistants. Maya, Bear, Brindle, and there's Inca. And, of course, little Java. A buzzard's calling. Ah, as soon as I start filming, it stops. Anyway, one day, this Oak Tree Hope, 2024, We'll maybe have a nest of buzzards one day when it's big enough. Isn't that right, girl? You good girl. Yeah. Good dogs. Bear was clever. He was under the shelter of the horse chestnut. 
everybody's helping.